welcome vector 1 kcc 1985 paper 1 question number 18 the figure below is a right pyramid with a rectangular base a b c d and v o as the height the vectors a d is equals to a a b is equals to b and d v is equals to c a express 1 a v in terms of a and c one mark 2 b v in terms of a b and c two marks b m is a point on o v such that o m ratio mv is 3 is to 4 i've indicated that one there that ratio you can see the ratio the ratio is there 3 is to 4 then uh, the other question that follows there m is a point on ov such that om i will given that so i've just indicated that there so the question is express bm in terms of a b and c simplify your answer as far as possible five marks so that is the question. I'd like us to go to the solution. Let's go to the solution and see how we're supposed to solve that. Now, we, we shall begin by giving expressing a v. So a part one, a part one. So a part one, a part one. We express a v. A v in terms of a and c a v in terms of a and c so how do you move from to give a v how do you move from a to v in the diagram here from a to v so you want to move from this point a to v v is there so the route you're going to follow is from a to d then from d to v so a v will be given by a d plus dv ad plus dv just like that and then since we have the vectors ad vector ad is given by uh, is given the question there it is given by a then dv dv is given by c and that is how you're supposed to work out the first one so the first one is quite easy part two bv in terms of a b and c bv 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 in terms of a b and c so how do you move from b to v b to v you want to move from b all the way to v so the easier route or the easiest route is from b to d b to d then d to v so we move from b d b d vector b d plus d v how do we get vector b d b d vector b d will be given by let me just indicate that b d will be given by b a then plus a d is here so that is how we get vector b d so from b to a then a to d so b a plus a d so therefore uh, we have simplified these so b d will be given by b a plus a d and what is b a plus a d b a look at b a b a we're moving in the opposite direction the arrow so b a will be negative b then a d a d is a so that is what represent negative b plus a that is what represents b d then plus d v d v is um given the question is c so it's as simple as that so for that one this will be you can organize this one you can also give this one as uh, it is not wrong the way it is so you can just give it as uh, a minus b plus c so that is bv in terms of a b and c part b the question now m is a point on ov such that om ratio mv is the raised to four i've indicated that in the 
diagram there uh, you're supposed to express bm bm in terms of a b and c bm 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 you express bm so how do you move from b to m which route are you going to follow from b to m b to m uh when i look at the diagram here the easier one is um b o so from b to o then o to m that is what will give a bm you want to get bm bm so i'll follow this route from b to o o to m so b o plus o m as simple as that how do you get b o it is good to note that uh, b o o is the midpoint this is the midpoint of line b d b d so since this one is the midpoint therefore vector b o b o b o will be given by a half of b d so that is what is going to give b o so b o is a half of b d since o is the midpoint of line b d so do we have b d we already have bd you can see from uh, the previous part here we got bd as uh, ba plus ad we got it there ba plus ad we got that and uh, this is what represents vector bd there so we got that so in simple terms we, we shall say therefore since you've got BO is a half BD, so this would be a half times BD. We got BD as um, negative B plus A. Negative B plus A. You can write that one as A minus B. It's just the same. A minus B. We're getting it from here. BD. Since it is a half of... Um, BO is a half of BD. So BD is A minus B. So that is um, BO. So BO, therefore, is a half to brackets A minus B, then plus OM, OM, OM. Since you're given the ratio, the ratio in which M divides uh, OV is 3 is to 4, raised to 4. So therefore, OM will be 3 over 7 OV. Repeat again. OM will be 3 over 7 OV since we given this ratio 3 is to 4 so now having this we can simplify it like this so we can simplify it like this so we have uh, a half we open the bracket I have a minus a half B then plus 3 over 7 now we need to get OV. How do we get OV? How do we get OV again here? We want to move from O to V. So we shall move from O to D, then DV. So let me indicate it here. So OV, OV will be given by uh, OD, OD plus DV, OD plus dv that is ov so ov ov be given by o d plus dv then from there we can proceed so let me enlarge this one so from there we have now a half a minus a half b plus 3 over 7. OD, what is OD? Now, it is good to note that OD, say that O is the midpoint of BD. So, uh, these two vectors, vector BO is the same as OD. The ratio is 1 is to 1, is the midpoint. So, therefore, OD will also be a half of BD half of bd 
it's good to note that so i think i will indicate it here i have to indicate it here that you can see it that vector od is the same as a half bd a half bd and we got a half bd it is here it is here you can see it is here and that is what has given us this a half a minus a half b so we don't need to repeat the working again so therefore vector od will be the same as a half bd and half bd is whatever we have here half a we have a half a minus half b so these two half a minus half b is the same as od and od is the same as half bd and we got a half bd to be a half a minus half b so it's good to note that then plus dv dv is a straightforward dv is straightforward is given in the question sc given sc there so now having this we can simplify open the brackets and simplify and this is what you get this will be a half a minus a half b plus multiply everything here this will be 3 of um, 14 3 over 7 times a half a then minus 3 over 7 times this again to give a uh, this will give 3 over 14b then plus 3 over 7c that is when you op multiply everything inside the bracket here by 3 over 7 then from there you can collect the like terms together i have a plus uh, 3 over you can group them together like this i have a the like terms together 3 over 14 a that then plus uh, b again b together negative b minus 3 over 14 b like terms together like done then it's 3 over 7 c so work out this one using a calculator and um, when you work out this one um, I have a plus 3 over 14 a this will give 5 over 7 it will give 5 over 7 to give uh, 5 over 7 a then plus negative half b minus 3 over 14 b that will give a uh, negative and that you get negative 5 over 7 b then plus 7 plus 3 over 7 c so that is the the simplest way in which you can leave the answer and you've done the question so we have answered all the parts all the parts are answered just to go through the question was uh giving eight marks so bm is answered a v is answered and b v is answered so that is uh, simply how you're supposed to solve that question thank you